heard talk about this new gig that I'm doing. There, I am. My birds are eating off the bugs. We both having dinner. <laughs> Wanna talk about this new gig I've been doing? Fucking caca. Took too big of a bite. Oh, okay. Sorry. First off, let me say flatbed's fucking awesome. I love flatbed. I'm out there in the elements. I'm working with my hands. I'm getting fucking dings and scratches and fucking cutting my hands all up. And you know, it's just it's it's humbling. It's invigorating I feel myself getting stronger and I feel like in time I'm gonna get more cut like I'm gonna be like what's up what's up bro you know I'm not gonna have no fucking neck I'm gonna have... so I don't I did not plan this okay I got two shirts two pairs of pants two sets of drawers two sets of socks and I am down to my last set after I go shower luckily I'll be driving for about two days three days uh, I'm about 20 three hours away from California. My first load was yesterday, and I went from Chicago to Mississippi, and that paid $2,000. So that was about, around, well, the whole trip was about 600 some change miles. So 600 miles paying $2,000. Not bad. Fuel prices are pretty high, though. <laughs> I'll say that. I think if I see a price lower than $5 a, uh, a gallon, I'm excited. Uh, now, we, our company does have fuel discounts. Um, they're not gonna be on Prime levels because Prime's got, you know, 10,000 plus trucks, but there's still a discount there, and uh, we go through RTS, so uh, there's an app where we can see what the fuel prices are and, and things like that, but um, I was gonna go home because of the aforementioned issue that I have with limited clothing, and uh, I could not turn this next load down, all right? Let's go into California from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going into LA, which I'm not very excited about. But, it's 1,800 miles, okay? $7,300. $7,300 fucking dollars for 1,800 miles. I drove 3,200 miles from the, basically the cusp of Idaho and Washington border, okay? Right there inside of Idaho. I picked up some fucking onions and I drove them bitches all the way down by Miami, Florida, okay? From fucking tip to tip, that load paid $6,200. I'm doing, it was 3,200 miles. Yeah, because then I ended up driving an additional 150 miles to go take the OSD to a farm. So to, yeah, less than, and I don't, I don't think I got anything extra for that. I may have gotten paid some miles for that, but I don't know. Um, my check ended up only being like $3,300, which I say only. Fuel was fucking killer, okay? Fuel is a fucking killer now, but I'm driving 1,800 miles and I'm getting $7,300 for this load. And I didn't have to tarp it. Oh, man. It's, uh, it, was a, it was kind of a whack place, man. They, they really kind of engineered things uh wooden boxes like i would say maybe two centimeters thick on every side so when i'm strapping that shit down and i'm i'm i want to put i want them to be taut right i want the i want it to be tight i'm hearing the fucking wood start to cry out you're killing me it's like <laughs> and i'm like that's not fucking good but i need it to be tight so it doesn't move around so uh i put some i put some stress on that shit but uh, it's great. You know, like there's like eight boxes up front. I mean, look. Okay. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Brand new trailer, too. That's just tight, though. Fucking. Okay. See how it's all bent in and shit? Here, too? Yeah, I, I had to I had to get it, man. I, I had to really push it down. But uh 
There, now let me talk about my truck a little bit. It's a 2021 Volvo. Um, it's got about, it's got 217,000 miles on it. I, I've just put on almost a thousand miles. So uh, I've driven about a thousand miles so far. Uh, and that's just because this first load was a short haul, 600 miles. I say short haul, you know, when your truck can go 75 miles an hour, it doesn't seem as far. <laughs> Uh, so it uh, the loading and somebody was in front of me and it really ate up my clock and I accidentally set my clock off in the morning trying to go to the restroom because there aren't really any restrooms at the yard where we're at um, unless somebody's in the office which um, when you gotta go usually it's when everybody's at home sleeping in their beds so I if I stop by the yard it'll be during the day and uh, I'll make sure whoever I need to see is there because we're actually getting upgrades. Everything we do right now is from our phone. Um, we're getting tablets installed within like the next week or two and it's gonna have everything that we need on it. Um, right now I have like eight different apps that I'm using, you know, like DriveWise to do the bypass, um, RTS, our fuel uh, network, that app so I can see where the, what the fuel prices are. With our discount, we get a discount. It's not prime discounts, but it's still discount. Um, you know, Pilot, Flying J, all that shit. Way, the Way app, the, you don't get your truck weight to cat scale. Um, load boards, like how many load boards you want, you download the load board. If you want to pay for the load board, you pay for your own load board and then you send it to your dispatcher and he'll book it for you. So um, that's kind of cool. And, uh, but let me continue on with the truck. Um, it's governed at 75 miles an hour, so I am one of the faster trucks on the road now. I can actually go the speed limit, which is very nice. And if I'm trying to pass somebody going 63, then I'll just pass them. That's no problem. I'm passing up cars and shit now. Like, go the speed limit, dude. So, doing flatbed is so great, man. Like, it is, I fucking love it. I love being out there, getting my hands fucking dirty. You know, like strapping shit, climbing up on the trailer, throwing chains and shit, dude. All right, I'm gonna do a before and after video. It's probably gonna take a couple months, but it's gonna be in the process where I'm gonna get like before, you know, and it's gonna be my trucker gut, you know, and my man titties and shit. And then it's gonna be like eventually where I am like, all I'm doing is flatbed. I'm not really like working out. I am, I mean, I burnt 1200 calories today just unloading my last load and then strapping this load down. So I burnt 1,200 calories and I usually only eat once a day, which I can't be doing that anymore. I have to eat more and it has to be healthier because I'm not gonna survive out here on fucking truck stop hot dogs and pizza or McDonald's or whatever. Like I have to actually eat nutritious fucking food. And that leads me to this. I don't have an inverter on this truck. So I don't have a way to cook anything. Now I do have a fridge. The fridge is built into the truck's power, so I don't have to worry. I can sell my two fridges. If y'all want to, I can sell the one fridge that, I'm gonna keep the small one that I had my Freightliner at the house, but I have literally a truck fridge. One of those, uh, I can give you the zip, the, the code or whatever, but I, I'm selling it. If you want it, I don't know how the hell you're gonna get it. Like, shipping that would probably be fucking more than the damn fridge is worth. It's not that big, but it's, it's a bigger item and it weighs like at least 30, 40 pounds that would cost quite a bit in shipping. Unless I push that off to you and give you a small discount so you still pay the same amount but instead of me paying for shipping, you would. Whatever. Let me tell you this. Brandon, the guy that, uh, we we came to this company together. He found it and uh, we, we held hands and we jumped off the cliff together and started working here. Um, and I will say, he opened his fucking mouth and told everybody in the office, about my YouTube channel. Now everybody is subscribed to me. I say everybody like it's a lot of people. There's, I'd say, four people. My boss, okay? Which, dude, I'm gonna talk about everybody individually, but what I know about them so far. Uh, my boss, his his dude, he, he calls us about our logs and stuff if we forgot to do something. And um, then we got the, the young lady that helps us with uh, the onboarding process and she does more of the clerical stuff in the office and then we have my dispatcher and let me start with the clerical work young lady in the office 
I've met her briefly. I haven't really talked to her much. She seems really nice, and that's really it. We don't. We haven't talked outside of. Hey, can I see your license? Hey, can I see your your card, your medical card? You know, shit like that. So she seems really nice, and I talked to her through text when I was trying to get into the office, um, and she seemed really cool, very eager to help, and and nice, and which is it's pleasant. The guy that helps with our logs and stuff, he went and actually picked me up from the airport. And he's fucking cool as shit. Uh, he actually was running his own truck, and, and he just sold it so that he can help out my boss with running this company. So, um, he's fucking cool as shit. Um, jacked as fuck, too. Motherfucker's like, Whoa. yeah, I knew he was doing he was doing flatbed before. So, if I, if I can look half as good as he does, no homo, like fucking and I'll be set bro you know like fucking he was fuck like, he was wearing a jacket the whole time it was fucking cold when he picked me up so whenever we got back into the office you know of course we took our jackets off because it was warm in the office and he's just like fucking handing me my paperwork to sign and his fucking muscles like I'm like bro chill out dude and then uh my boss uh the, the, the big kahuna the owner fucking dude I've never seen somebody that work as hard as he does no, no, I'm not saying anything about the guys I just talked about, the two individuals before him. They work just as hard, but to see an owner, like, get out and... He worked very hard. Um, he went and got three brand new trailers. That's actually what I just showed you. That trailer is brand new. Um, brand new straps, brand new uh, chains, brand new fucking everything. Then he even took me to Home Depot at like 8 o'clock at night because I didn't have a hard hat or a safety vest. So we went in his badass fucking Ford Raptor and went like two blocks up the road to the Home Depot and we picked up some ratchet straps. I picked up some locks for the dog box back there uh, and my uh, my chain rack uh, on the header board. And a uh, uh, hard hat, safety vest. You know, I got some uh, some lubricant spray for the, for the, all that shit. <laughs> and then, um, uh, we came back and he, he talked to me about my YouTube and he's like, I don't care if you talk about us. I don't care if you talk about me. I don't care if you talk about whatever. You can do whatever you want. It's your channel. And like, and this your truck. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be paying for it. Eventually this truck is going to be mine. After I pay it off, it is gonna be my truck. So, as long as I get my loads where they need to go on time, and I'm making money, they're making money, and they're happy. As long as the truck's paid, everybody's happy. I can go route myself to the house if I want. Now, granted, my dispatcher, he he doesn't like Houston. As that is where I live. So, not apparently there aren't a lot of loads, a lot of good loads coming out of there. And granted, the load he just fucking put me on actually caused me to not want to swing by the house. It would have added another five fucking hours to my to my trip out there. It's got to be. I gotta be there by the second. It's the 29th, and I'm shutting down, and I'm going to get a start early in the morning tomorrow. Um, they want it delivered ASAP, but they want it absolute latest on the 2nd. I'll probably have it there. I'll have it there probably first thing in the morning on the 2nd because the way that my clock worked, and I got to hope that I can find the place that I'll be stopping at. I don't know exactly where I'll be shutting down on the 1st, but it's not really coming up on my, my maps and even Google putting in the address it takes me to the same place my GPS is taking me and it's just showing that it's a car wash so maybe I don't know maybe the pictures are old on Google and uh, it's actually the business I'm trying to get to which doesn't seem like it'd be that big um, but it is right next to a big ass it's right there in LA so I'm uh, I'm not looking forward to the traffic there um, but my dispatcher seems fucking he's on his shit he knows what the fuck he's doing so like, if he's finding me loads like this, I don't even know if I want to look for my home. Like, granted, I've, I've been trying to get home, so I've been trying to find specific loads just taking me back to the house. And I'd be willing to drive, you know, six, 700 miles and get only get like $2,700 so that I could get my stuff. Like I said, I'm running low on clothes. Uh, I'd like to get all my other shit put in here, my mattress, um, all that stuff. I want to get it all put in the truck, but I could not pass up. $7,300 for 1,800 miles. So, 
when is the fucking, I don't even know when the, uh, what's tomorrow, Sunday, yeah, so, to, wait, Friday, Saturday is the 3rd, the 30th, and then Sunday is the 1st, Monday is the 2nd, um, so I don't even know if they're going to be open on Sunday, but Sunday should be a nice drive into California, I don't know of any truck stops in LA, there probably aren't any, but I'll figure it out. God damn, this is long. All right, I'm gonna get ready to go take a shower. I'm tired. I just ate, not the healthiest meal, but I didn't think I was staying here, so I got some hot dogs. Then I realized that when I got fuel, and I was on duty getting fuel, I went in to get my hot dogs, I came back out, and I was eating on my drive time because of just, you know, the on duty shit that I do today. Like, it just cut into my drive time. So tomorrow and the following day should be fine. Um, because I won't have to load or unload. I'll just be able to drive and that would that I can maximize my shit there <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, that's so far. That's what's going on. I'm incredibly Loving this so far uh, the money Even is so great uh, Already and I haven't even run a full week yet, dude. I'm like I came in half ass the week. I started on Thursday you know, so I drove Thursday dropped picked up today and now I'm heading to California and that's nine thousand dollars and that'll be within four days that'll be grossing nine thousand dollars to the truck so and it's 85 percent goes to me 15 goes to the company that that hired me and uh, then I get 85 percent minus fuel of course and I've spent two thousand dollars so far on fuel and I've only driven two days so uh, I'll have my snapchat below if you guys are on my snapchat. I give more updates there than I do here um, Especially when I'm on the truck. So uh, if you guys feel like following me and you want to see what's going on the kind of behind the scenes when I'm not just sitting in front of the camera like this. It's more of like a Personal thing, you know, I'm walking to the store or something or I'm just talking about something random that happened uh, It's there. So I'll put it down below uh, Also, yeah, that's it Really. All right, so remember this ladies love it fucking ready to take care. I'll see y'all in another time